Good day, Terrarians. Purple Mint Hat here with Six Impossible, Everlost, and Saffron. We're trying to farm UFO keys. We have, what, three so far? Is that right, Sounds guys? Right. Okay. Cool. And I just need to get one more for myself, and then we're going to try fighting the Moon Lord on UFO back. I could try using the uh, cute Fishron, but he does not move vertically very quickly which makes it really hard to dodge the Moon Lord's lasers. The UFO is quite a bit better at that. So hopefully we'll be able to make use of the UFO to circle around the Moon Lord and avoid his lasers. We won't have much of anything for platforms going on, just a few to hold some fires and some heart and star lanterns and the statues. And right now, we're just hoping that some UFOs spawn. We're really not getting very lucky with that. We've had one UFO so far this entire invasion. We're up to 56%. And we're not even, like, actively killing the minions. We're just letting them passively die in the lava below us. Might try this again with clearing out the lava on the next invasion. And hoping that we can literally kill nothing but UFOs for the whole time. That'd be great. That or maybe we'll see about building a better place to fight it. I can't really figure out exactly how to get it set up though it hasn't been working anyway once we have the last ufo we'll cut back right after uh, right before killing the last pillar and you'll see our swing at the moon lord this will be take two i believe yes well yes. technically three because one of them uh i failed at recording <laughs> anyway see you soon Alrighty, after killing three of the pillars uh Doing a bit of a cosmetic upgrade to be as garishly uh, unpleasant as possible on the eyes. And uh, grabbing a cosmic car key from my single player world because we have farmed three of them and we just weren't getting any more of the UFO probes to spawn. It was just getting too boring to wait anymore. I mean, we've killed the Martian invasion so many times. I think we have adequately proven we can farm it as much as we want. They just haven't added a real summoning item for it yet, so you have to... Anyway, we are on the last pillar now. Captain Morgan the Pirate. Nice. And we're going to uh, move on in, take it down, and then we're going to work on the Moon Lord. And this attempt, our, we're pretty much going to focus on trying not to die. <laughs> It's a cutting plan. We've got a small arena in the air set up, which is less of an arena and more of just a place to be with some heart statues and star statues around. And we're going to uh, try to either duck into the little out of the way spaces we've made to dodge the laser or. Actually, you know what? I should be saving my rockets. And use those on the Moon Lord. I've got a ton of bullets. Or we're going to try to use our UFOs to go around the Moon Lord and dodge the laser that way. So, as soon as we get this Nebula Pillar down, which is basically as soon as enough things spawn to kill the shield. Man, didn't think it'd take this long. Six, on the other hand, does not get to hide in the box, because if he hides in the box with us, then the Moon Lord's gonna... Well, actually, most of the Moon Lord's body does not do damage. Only his hands and eyes. So we can actually safely have the Moon Lord right on top of us. Goodbye, Terrell. I don't know who you were, but obviously you were an NPC. Don't forget to get your buff potions and your uh, healing potions out, the super heals that we made. We have uh, 30 super healing potions each. They are created with the various fragments, one of each fragment and four of the greater healing potions 
will create four super healing potions. We don't have the nurse here, which is unfortunate, but we will survive. Piggy, give me buff potions. And healing my gigs. Piggy, where are my healing my gigs? There they are. Thank you, Piggy. Yes, healing my gig is a technical term. Alright, Moonlord, we're ready for you. Bring it on. Don't kill me. <laughs> All those heart statues are supposed to be active, I'm not seeing a lot of hearts. Yeah, there's probably... Wow. Is that your hook? That amazing pink thing that just flew out? What, me? Yes. Yeah, this? Okay, that wins. <laughs> oh god. Remember that when the thing latches onto you, it's going to spawn um, little things that we need to kill. The moon, ki uh, moon kiss debuff thing. Okay, I failed at laser dodge. There's so much stuff going on, I can barely see what's supposed to be, uh, what I'm supposed to be dodging. Too many things on the screen. Alright, so it looks like I could probably bring him right underneath this central barrier and just duck. It's okay to keep him right where he is now? Yeah, I'll just yep. not be there. <laughs> That's effective against the laser. I am still losing health, though. I think I need to, uh... Oh, did you swap to the non-healing set, Seth? Yes. Okay. I am down. Alright, so I was able to stay away from the eye laser. Whoops, resized the window mid-fight. That caused a bit of an issue with the recording, but we're back now. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's the um, particles that he's firing from his hands that you're not dodging that are causing the issue for you. I'm simply not going to be able to take advantage of the stay still and stealth thing. Oh, almost made it. The UFOs are maneuverable, but they are slow. Yes. It's part of the problems with this particular setup. How's his health? Uh, we need to get the central eye down, uh, um, and it's at about half. And unfortunately, you can only uh, shoot the central eye when he opens it for the death ray. His hand, uh, his second hand is about to release the uh, true eye of Cthulhu. That's good, right? That well, means we're progressing. Aw, oh, man, you freaking laser beam hit me as I spawned. Yeah, that's what got me, is right when I spawned, I got hit. Oh, little guys shoot lasers, too. Yes. Fun times. <laughs> this is so much mayhem. Well? My hands are down, I think. Yes. All right, should I try it for any different positioning, oh, or just hold where I am? That hurts. Wow. I don't know. Sorry, I'm trying to dodge and heal no at problem. the same time as and answer you. I ended up just going in a straight line and getting dead. <laughs> Blame Saffron. I don't think you're going to be able to pick a spot and sit. That is not how this fight works. Where is he? I found him. There he is. Hey, buddy. He was following me around. We might have all been dead, but I guess not. <laughs> I'm annoyed that they uh, added a stand still and be stealth to get a damage buff mechanic. Uh, as the special armor just before the fight where you can't possibly stand still. Oh or, man, skin my teeth on that one. At least if you can, I don't know how. Alright, he's on Central me because you're dead. 
Last eye is almost down. Yep, and I'm dead. Stop being dead! Well, when he's following me and there's so much stuff that I've never had to dodge before because, you know, I'm Bum a dirty cheeser. <laughs> that from stay alive. I will. Are you on the rail? Yep. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> just to stay alive. Mm hmm. And I'm dead. I just keep dying when I respawn. I don't ever get a chance to leave. Did I stay alive long enough for y'all to come back? Don't, don't I'm in for now. Have him directly under the spawn platform? That's a terrible place. We want him away from where we respawn so that people have a chance. Well, I did lead him away. Yeah, Briefly. I have no idea where he is. Uh, I'm coming back to the. I base. assume following you. I, every time he opens his eye, I start focusing on trying to actually hit him, and that's when I get dead. <laughs> well, his heart's all that's left. Is the dragon up? I can't get it because I don't have mana. Oh. No mana potions on you? Ah, they're apparently they're all gone. Hmm. Whoops. Anyway, I think we got this now. Maybe. Except he's still camping spawn. <laughs> Where do you want me to, to lead him? Away from the spawn! I don't like spawning in with an Eye of Cthulhu directly on top of me and I'm at 50 health. Okay. Instantly. I got on the left. Yeah, Ouch. that's fine. Wherever you take him, as long as it's not within one screen of the bed. We have that bed way too close to where we're trying to fight him. His stupid eye keeps following me. Yes, blame Seth. I realize I just been part of the fight shooting at the wrong target, but at least he was away from spawn. Oh, darn it. All right, when I stop being dead, I'm going to try to keep him no, around the left H. I'm not. He's gone. Nope, so he's gone. All right. So, uh, we'll be back in a moment when we're about to attempt him again. All right, this will be the last attempt for today's episode. we got to get back there quickly. Or I could get randomly mangled by a nebula sphere. That's cool, too. <laughs> uh, and we're going to do another attempt at the Moon Lord. We've moved the bed a little further from the fighting airspace. And Six has equipped a little bit more defensively minded gear. I have also changed out to be a little bit more offensively minded. I've got an Avengers emblem and I did grab a warding charm of mist instead of the Onk shield. This ends up being a damage plus for me versus the menacing Onk shield while keeping me at the same defense and allowing me a 45 second potion reuse timer rather than a 60 second one. He'll be here any second now. Ready guys? Nope. Okay. I'm also going to be using the uh, Phantasm because I do think it is going to do better for me. Oh, eyes open. Incoming lasers. Uh, that was a terrible dodge. On my part. And get dead. That's all we ask. If we can avoid it, try not to kill the eye, uh, the hands before the central eye. Oh man. Yeah, you keeping him down there really uh, makes the uh, laser a lot easier to deal with for us. I wasn't sure if you were going to say good or bad, but this is good. Oh, it's fantastic. Incoming spheres. Or, no, those are the ones that just explode in place. Don't want to be near them when they explode, though. Talking to you, I've lost. going better. 
You've got enough defense to deal with some things now. This time it was me near the spears when they exploded. Oh dear. Uh, it was a good dodge-ish. Ah! About to end up dead. I'm dodging out to find some hearts. And wait for my potion cooldown. There we go. My health is staying a lot higher. Good. That, oh, uh, no, we're not hitting the really hard stuff dead. yet. Alright, center eye's dead, right hand's dead. Now it gets uh, tricky. Ow. Ow. All the ow. I'm backing out. Are my spears making it down there? Yes. Okay. Hands dead. Excellent. Now it's just the heart. Oh god. The Massive lag. sudden slowdown. Alright, do I need to position him higher or are we good here? Uh, You're good. We're good. We got this. Yeah, down he goes. Yeah, you changing accessories made all the difference. Just re I'm also positioning myself very differently this time. Oh, oh yeah! Alright, first Moon Lord kill. Good job, guys. I'm glad we got that today. I didn't think we were going to be able to. And none of us died this entire fight. Yeah. Well done. That was a good kill. That was clean. I like that. All right, where are the treasure? Where are the goodie bags? Right here, where I'm so, at. Give me loot. Give me loot. Yes, I want loots. Unfortunately, I have some bad news for you, Matet. You gotta go. The loot is not going to make you any more colorful than you are already. Ah, uh, you 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 think that, but there are <laughs> even more colorful dyes than I am wearing. I don't think it's possible. They, you haven't seen solar dye yet. Well, I gotta go to the base and dump stuff before I can even open these bags. So, uh, everyone gets a portal gun. We all get a selection of luminites as well. The portal gun is exactly what you would expect. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Very much an homage. Anybody get anything really cool? Weaponry or something uh, like that? I'll get back to base and fight up. Okay. We got Star Wrath for you, Six. Ooh, I have something that you'll be happy about, uh, um, Everlost. Or see AFK. Did he say he was going AFK? I wasn't paying enough attention. Nope, I'm here. Okay. He's heading back to base dump inventory. I have a rainbow crystal staff. Ooh. Where are you at? I see Saf. I'm with the Moon Lord, still. This thing is fantastic. Do you remember this thing? Oh, it's so good. And I'm placing, placing the Luminite in the hard ores. That sound good? Yeah. And we'll probably end up using it to make uh, whoever doesn't get a weapon upgrade uh, their weapon. Well, I have Celebration for you. Okay. Or Don't their armor good. set, I meant. Where are you at? Alright, you guys are at base? Okay, I'm coming to you. Yep. So, uh, this is the Rainbow Crystal Sphere. Summons that, uh, crystal right there, which sends out disco balls of light that kill things. Oh, more disco balls. You want? I think you have it in your inventory now. Yep. Wow, and 295 damage. Yeah, that's the other part. So where's the celebration? I uh, in my inventory. I'm trying to find you. <laughs> I'm standing right in front of you. You can have that thing, too, in case you want it. Oh, uh, yeah, we all get a Suspicious Lucky Pentacle and the uh, Gravity Stone. Hey, Mentat, I got more pink for you. Oh, well, then I'll take it back. What is that? Upgraded Star, Fe uh, Star Fury thing. Well, I figured that out. I meant, what well, is the name of it, because I don't recognize it off the top of my head. Star Wrath. But I can look... Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, Celebration, huh? You are a... What are you, a rocket launcher? That's what it looks like. Yeah, it is a rocket launcher that fires double rockets. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is my uh, favorite thing ever. What the what? I have a fireworks launcher. Does that actually do damage? I'm gonna take it outside. Let's go find out. <laughs> oh goodness, hold on. Take something and summon a boss. No, I got these guys right here. 
was just I was gonna say summon a mechanical um yes like summon the squin the twins. Yes, it does do damage. That's ridiculous, and I love it. And they just they air burst. All right, that's your celebration weapon right there. That is fantastic. Winner. I don't think it's going to be very good for fighting the Moon Lord, but it's going to. I think I'm better off sticking with the Phantasm for that. It does have a higher than normal uh, um, critical strike chance. Did we already get a Lunar Flare? Lunar oh, that's my flare? way of saying... That's my way of saying I picked up one, yeah. Magic weapon. Uh, no, we haven't talked about that yet. What's a Lunar Flare? Yeah, come give it to Saf and let him uh, blast things with it. That one's fun. You'll like it. There you go. It's not the last prism, but it's fun. Oh, yeah. I Now I remember. That's actually very, very effective. Yes. It's great against the Moon Lord. It, it was what we're doing. We need to kill the Moon Lord again. Well, we need to kill the Moon Lord a lot again. But yeah, actually, we can do it right now. Everyone back to the arena. Sadly, I won't have enough to equip the good armor. Are you making the good armor already? I have two pieces. So that's a yes. All right, we're not going to be uh, um, sharing and prioritizing for the Luminite then. We're just going to use what we find. Oh, I thought you said everybody used what they had in their bag. Uh, I don't remember this, but that's fine. Well, there's still enough for one person or two people. I still have some here. I haven't bumped, so let me dump it in there. We can probably make one or two complete sets of armor. Okay, we have oh, 196 well, ore left. We should definitely do that first. Let's, uh, we're going to get together and we're going to see about making, uh, getting people set up. Yeah, but back soon. Alright, so after a bit of juggling, we ended up deciding on outfitting our summoner because it is effectively the weakest standard class, and getting him more defense as well as better utility is high on the list. And we're going to outfit the mage in nebula armor. And that's all the bolts of the sets that we're going to be able to create between before we kill the moon lord again. Where are you at, staff? I am at the magic weapons, putting stuff away. Oh, okay. Well, uh, come on out, and we have some nebula armor for you. The reason we wanted to get the nebula armor for Saf is because the set bonus of the nebula armor is any time that you hit something, you will uh, have a small chance of dropping a booster item. There are three colors of boosters, and anybody can pick them up even if they're not wearing the nebula. And picking up a booster item gives every nearby player one instance of the buff. Anyone within 20 to 30 tiles. I need you to not sit on top of me, please, Olympia. I was trying to get away from the loud noises. I was trying to get away from you so I could throw things without them going immediately to you. <laughs> I'm going to sit over here. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, so the uh, buffs are a damage booster, which stacks up to a 45% damage boost, I believe. Um, yes. A life booster, which stacks up to 12 hit points per second, and a mana booster that stacks up to 24 mana per second. It's pretty awesome. Uh, according to the wiki, they only stack up to level 3, and each stack gives a third of that amount. What? I'm chasing Saf around with my guardian. Oh, okay. Alright, so are we about ready to take on the Moon Lord again? Um, one question. Yes? What does the guardian do when you make him move somewhere? Oh, you don't know the, uh, um, what is that, the Stardust armor? Yeah, I don't know what the guardian himself actually does. Okay, the Stardust Armor is the Summoner Armor, gives 66% minion damage and 5 minions, as well as a Stardust Guardian minion. It is act passive until activated by double tapping down, which places it on the nearest surface beneath the cursor. So, you know, wherever your mouse is pointing, it will go there. Once he's there, he becomes a sentry that will chase enemies very short distances, 
and will periodically trigger explosions that deal minor damage and cause enemies to attack the Guardian. You deactivate it by holding the down button, which causes it to return to passively following around the player. It does not count against the min uh, the player's damage capacity. I mean, I minion he's capacity. Supposed to be an aggro magnet, but yes. doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Exactly. I thought that's what I said. I probably used too much technical language. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in one of those movies where I'm the nerd character, and I'm like, that's what I just said, after explaining that in more detail than I needed to. <laughs> in this crew, you're the nerd character? Oh boy. So Saf, does that make him Nigma? Alright. Yeah. Let, let, let's go uh, kill the Moon Lord before I find out what that is and need to punch somebody. <laughs> Everybody ready? I've got a summon item for him in my inventory. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why I was saying we don't need to fight the uh, pillars again before Saf went and triggered the pillars again. Well, it was fun. Yes. Um, let me actually go get my buffs from the table over here. Ah, oh, good point. Episode's running long, guys. Come on. We gotta show right them what our new weapons can do against the Moon Lord. Staff? Almost looking. All the things. Okay. Okay. I get the feeling that they were not expecting to fight again quite so soon and did not understand that I meant let's go. <laughs> but yes, we are going to uh, take our fireworks and our new pets and everything up against the Moon Lord. Here he comes! Oh, I forgot, it's a 60 second countdown just like before. Alright, we'll cut back in when he's actually here. Saf is yeah, playing with top turtles. Of the ages. I was just trying to picture all four of us bouncing in and out of two portals and the Moon Lord <laughs> just going... I, 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 I. Nice. I uh, should be showing up any second now. I'm hoping that Saf's uh, buffs will Here is. work well for us. Fireworks! Yay! <laughs> this is the most ridiculous weapon I've ever used. So I'm going to stay more or less where I am because I will not be able to see anything. Yes, that is accurate. However, I'm not doing great damage with it. I think I'm going to swap back to the other thing. Yeah, I need to use the uh, bow instead. It works a lot better in terms of actually like dealing deep, causing DPS to happen. Yeah, it's like double the DPS. Are we trying to clear the eye first for the hands? Yeah, but the central eye is going down pretty, uh, pretty fast actually. That was the right hand. We're doing a lot of damage now. The celebration is a really cool weapon against crowds. It is a, not a really cool weapon against the moon. That's okay, maybe I'll get my uh, uh, dolphin machine gun on this one. I am not Remember. even joking, there's a dolphin machine gun. Left hand. It's all left. Not anymore. Are y'all getting the buffs from me? Uh, yes. Speaking of buffs, I should use mine. Oh, I just got too many buffs and it uh, canceled my mount buff. Did you just crater? No, I almost did. Also, I was trying to shoot you instead of the Moon Lord's core. Okay, that, that works for me. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we've got this guy on farm now. We're gonna kill him and the pillars a few more times to get more goodies. Man, that went from quite challenging to really easy very, very fast. Yeah, man, it's amazing what the right accessories can do. Oh, 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 do I have a thing for you, Six. A thing? Look at this yo-yo. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> yep. We have the Terrarian. Strongest weapon in the game. All yours. Well, the last prison might come close. I also have a Moon Lord mask if anyone wants it. If not, I'll be uh, Cthulhu. Go for it. Actually, we've got another one in the bank already. Nice. But you, you can keep the unique mask for now. Yay. <laughs> uh, what, what else did we get for weapons? Each bag usually uh, drops one. I got a I celebration. Got a, I got a lunar flare and the crown o set. Okay, and uh -oh. six. Okay, hold still, the tat. Okay, is it the machine gun? It's the SDMG. Yes. This is a crazy weapon. 
you basically just uh, hold the button and everything. You, you run out of ammo very fast. And that's with the 50% uh, chance knock to consume ammo. Plus, I've got an ammo potion. I should have an ammo potion running. Maybe? You should have the ammo box, at least. Yeah. Um, life regen, endurance, archery, health fed, shine, wrath. Nope, it must have knocked those off. I gotta turn off my wisp and such. Too many uh, goodies, here. too many buffs here. Probably shouldn't have put those banners up. They're not helping matters any. But yeah, you burn through ammo really fast with this guy. Anyway, that's gonna be all for now. We're going to farm the Moon Lord enough to get all of the cool uh, Luminite and such that we need from him. And next time we're gonna actually start doing some serious building and terraforming of this world. And sometime soon we're going to be doing some other challenges that'll involve creating new worlds or taking on money, uh, multiple um, bosses all at once. Just crazy fun stuff like that. Thanks very much for joining us. Hope you have enjoyed this episode. And if so, please leave a thumbs up. If not, leave a thumbs down. Tell us what you'd like to see us do better. Either way, if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I love that it uh, maintains momentum. Whoops, there is a limit though. We have a platform above us. Oof. Aww, that was lame. It works. Yeah, but I, I, I dropped from way up and for some reason uh, didn't work. I think it matched my momentum at the time. Oh, that might be. No, I'm just falling slow from that high up for some reason. You growing all the way to space? No, I'm just going up to the rail. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> uh, either way, if you want to see more of this content, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>